So moving on to how I cope with my anxiety. Meditating. Meditating, meditating is so hard because my mind is always racing, but I do try to practice this. I could do it more often, but then again, I've been feeling very good, so I haven't felt the need. However, I still feel like it's something I could incorporate more into my life. It's just so nice to stay connected to yourself and to, to this life. With meditating, you connect in a different way and it's beautiful. You're free. Yoga. I haven't done yoga in a while, but I love yoga. Um, I used to take yoga classes at the YMCA and the teachers there are great. They know what they're doing. At least the one that I went to. Yoga is so awesome. Our body is so flexible. So to be able to see how your body can move and intertwine and unwind, it's so beautiful and relaxing. The gym, working out. Working out is so rejuvenating for me. So I just started working out more and literally just started, I mean, yesterday. So I just started working out and I'm trying to get on a good schedule, have a good workout routine set before I start. And after, I feel so good. I was like on a high, I loved it. So working out is honestly really, really helpful for the times that I feel stressed. I'm just gonna list them all. Working out, drinking more water, and eating healthier. Those three things will definitely make you feel better. With all of those things, I feel more pumped to start my day, to continue my day, and to finish my day. One thing I like to do in the mornings and at night is drinking tea. It's so, so, so nice to do. Reading self-help books. I have a couple of self-help books I've been reading. I'm on my third um, self-help book this year. Wow. Yeah, they help. <laughs> it's really cool to view someone else's perspective on how you can better yourself and better your life. In addition to that, I read my Bible and I read any books that I feel will help me succeed in my life, in every, every aspect of my life. Writing is another thing. I love writing. I write music. I've been writing music since I was 11. I write um, just in my diary, daily journal, write how you feel, write about your day, write about those things. That is what helps me. I also write screenplays and poetry. <sighs> I know this may sound really weird, but talking to yourself really does help. Like right now, I am in front of a camera talking to you guys, but in reality, I'm just talking to myself. So let me just tell you, it's very therapeutic because you can hear your own voice and you are actually speaking your thoughts. If you aren't the type of person to talk to yourself when you're alone, talk to someone you really, really trust, or even talk to a therapist. All those things have helped at some point in my life thus far. So try all three, I suggest. Setting the mood for my life is so important. So, so important for me. I'm someone who has the playlist <laughs> set and ready for the day, whether it's, I mean, of course not all the time, but if I'm doing something <clears throat> on a daily routine, I like to play music from this playlist, music from that playlist, and that's it for a while. It'll just be like these two playlists, and then it'll be like, okay, now I'm ready to, on a day where I don't have a busy schedule, I like to then listen to new music and then add it to a playlist or add it to my liked my liked radio. <laughs> I like putting the music on in the morning. I like playing reggae classics, R&B, 
lo-fi beats. So Jenea Eco is one person I like to play, Kiana Lejay, Beyonce, the sexy songs get you in the mood. It's like you see your life from a new perspective now because you have a theme song. <laughs> it's like a, it's really weird. I'm not gonna talk anymore. Another thing, when I try to go to sleep, after meditating, if that doesn't work, I usually, or if it does work, while I uh, meditate, I play different soundtracks of rainfalls, um, waterfalls, beach waves. Those sounds are so subtle and so beautiful and so natural. It really, the motion of it and Imagining that you're in that place puts you right to sleep. It puts me right to sleep. In addition to that, I like to light my candles, my incense. It's just so relaxing, like I keep saying. It's really relaxing and it sets the mood. For me to be in a good mood, in a good place, in a good spirit, in high spirits. I also think it promotes good energy and if you're around good energy, you can have that good energy and spread that good energy as well. And bring good energy towards you. Another way I cope with my anxiety is by spending more time with myself and trying to figure out what it is that's going on. Trying to connect with myself again. When I am having an anxiety attack, I literally escape my own body, it feels like. It's like an out-of-body experience, and by spending more time with myself, I'm able to reconnect and bring myself back to one. <laughs> so, I do try to spend a lot of time with myself by getting my mani-pedi, going shopping online. Or I like doing home decor shop. Ugh. I like doing home decor shopping um, in stores. But for my clothes and everything, I like to do it online. It's really something I I don't know why, but I just find more enjoyment out of decorating a home than putting clothes on and looking cute and trying it on. It's so exhausting and it's annoying. <laughs> Going to see a movie by yourself. You really have to date yourself. That's what my aunt told me. I think it was my aunt or my mom. It was one of them or both of them. I don't know. They probably both told me. They told me to date myself. Date yourself. We're young. Even if you're not young, you can still do it. Duh. Date yourself. <sighs> so that wraps up this video. I really hope I touch somebody out there or I helped somebody out there. If I did, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Let me know how you liked it in the comments below. And subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you do feel like you need to seek help, mental help, I will list down in the description below different mental health lines. That'll help you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.